And here's another date to remember, Wednesday, June the 22nd, at the Polo Grounds, two great champions, light heavyweight champion Archie Moore will defend this title against one of the greatest middleweight champions of all time, Carl Bobo Olsen, June the 22nd. Here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Judges are Joe Agnello and Harold Bond, the timekeeper George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns Bonnie Smith, referee Al Burrell. Main event, 10 rounds. From Greenwich Village, wearing white trunks, weighing 163 and a quarter, Patty Young. Patty Young. His opponent from Central Islip, Long Island, wearing black trunks, weighing 167 and a half pounds, Billy McNeese. McNeese. Main event, 10 rounds. Another bout to follow. Now referee Al Burrow with his instructions to the fighters. <laughs> now both you boys are boxed in New York before you know the rules. I want you to be careful with your body blows. You can punch low, it may cost you a round. I expect you both to break clean and clinches. I don't want to touch you. In case we knock down, a man going down must take an eight down. The man's going to knock down and go to a neutral corner. Take hands down. Good luck to both of you. Okay, Al, the boys return to their corners. Nobody expects this to be fancy, but we sure expect it to be a fight. Patty Young and Billy McNeese, when they get in there, almost anything can happen. Don Dunphy is standing by, ready to report it to you. And here we go, Don. Thank you, Juan Elliott. Good evening, everyone. Young misses a left over the head, takes a solid left to the body. Another puts a left jab on the chin a couple of times. McNeese, hard jab, goes to the nose. They open up with a quick flurry. McNeese is back with a sharp jab to the head, and Young misses a couple of left hooks fired at the head. McNeese is wild with the left hand, peppered at the chin, but short. Now he puts a jab on the mouth. Young's left hook is solid, but wide of the mark again. He takes a light jab on the chin by McNeese. Young puts a hard left hook high on the head. It's partially blocked by a right glove, and McNeese tries the right hand. It's short. A left hand by McNeese is wide, and Young is wild with the left hand. McNeese brings in a solid left to the head, double hooks once to the body, once to the jaw with the left hand. Now Young is after him with a jab that is short of the mark. McNeese's jab is wide a couple of times. Young, a solid left thumper, goes in with the right hand instead, pounds it twice to the body. Now a hard left hook to the chin by Young. McNeese is perhaps an inch, an inch and a half taller than Patty Young, and a couple of pounds heavier. There's a light jab put out by Young that's wide of the mark. A solid right to the chin by McNeese. He double hooks to the body with the left, and Young is up with a left hook to the head. McNeese back with a sharp jab on the mouth. McNeese trailing his man a little bit. Little to choose between them so far. Young seems a little puffy around the left eye. He takes a jab on the chin. Young goes to close quarters. McNeese digs him a left hand of the body. A left to the chin. A right to the jaw by Billy McNeese. Fired as he was moving back. And now Young is wild with the left over the head. McNeese digs the left hand of the body again. Goes to close quarters. And Young pounds him two left hands to the head. Young faints the left hand. Moves around. Takes a solid right to the chin. Moves away from the left hand of his head. Patty near his own corner. Moves to the center. His right, right is short. And he takes both hands to the body by McNeese. McNeese faints the left hand. There's a hard left hook to the body put in there by Young. A left and a right to the jaw by Young. Staggering punches. And McNeese goes in and holds on for a moment. Meanwhile, working the left hand of the body. Just about a minute to go here in round one of what promises to be a hectic set two at the garden. Young is wild with the left hand. He takes a flicking jab to his nose. A straight right to the chin by McNeese. And Young moves along the ropes out to the center. Both boys look pretty good in there so far. Young's right goes to the chin. He takes the left hand of the body. McNeese faints the left hand, goes down low, brings in a right to the body, and Young counters a hard left smash to the midsection. There's a right to the chin by McNeese, and Young is back with two left hooks to the chin. They exchange jabs to the head. On the inside, they tie each other up, and then McNeese gets the right free, wings, wings it to the body, takes a right to the jaw by Patty Young. Young whips another right hand to the body, and McNeese brings up a left hook to the jaw. Both boys fighting up right now. McNeese has the wider stance. Young has a more balanced from a jab to the head and gets away from a jab by McNeese. They go to close quarters again, break without being told. Young smashes the left hand of the body, blocks the right at his midsection. Young is back to the rope, takes the right high on the head, a left hand of the body by McNeese. On the inside, it's Young working a right chop to the jaw. McNeese faints the left hand, backs away. Young comes at him. Backs away himself now. They're out in the center. There's a right that's wild by McNeese, but he puts a hard left hook to the body, a right to the jaw. 
and Young himself scored with a solid right to the body. Young is in with a jab, then a left hook to the head. He started that punch as a jab, turned it into a hard hook. McNeese pounds him right to the chin, a left jab to the nose at the bell. Just two weeks from Sunday, June 19th, $1, the price of the razor alone. Coming into round two here at Madison Square Garden, a slugfest between Patty Young and Billy McNeese, and both guys are slugging for a fairly well. Don? All right, when they go out there fast, and a hard left hook to the jaw by Young as he takes the left to the body by McNeese. They stab each other with left jab. Young pounds another left hand to the body, and then McNeese does likewise. The boys are similar in styles. McNeese slightly the better boxer, perhaps. He peppers away a jab on the chin, gets under a wild right, and is hurt by a hard left smash to the body that turns him around. But he's back fast with a jab to the chin. The left hook that Young put to his body, you could hear upstairs in the top of the gallery. Now they exchange light jabs to the chin with the left hand. Young faints the left hand, keeps his glove well in front, moves away from a jab, then takes one, and comes back with a left hook to the jaw. The boys are fighting flat-footed to get power in their punches, and they're getting plenty of power in there. Young's left hook goes high on the head. McNeese almost ducking the punch, not quite. Young misses a sweeping right at the chin after scoring with a jab. He pounds both hands to the body. Then a left hand to the jaw and takes a right to the chin by McNeese. McNeese is back, double hooking. Once to the body, once to the head with the left hand. And Young puts the left hand high on the head. McNeese rips the right to the body, a right hand to the jaw by Billy McNeese, the sharpshooter from Central Ice Flip Long Island. Patty Young from Greenwich Village, New York City, misses a jab fired at the chin. McNeese moves around his man, stabs out with a jab that's wide of the mark. Young himself is short with a jab. McNeese and Young, never a dull moment in this bout so far. There's a hard right to the head by McNeese, and Young is back with both hands to the body. Then McNeese smashes home a left to the midsection. Pouring it in, he takes a grazing right hand to the jaw by Young. Young gets away from a right and pounds both hands to the body of McNeese, swinging punches that hurt, apparently. Young goes in close, pounds another right hand to the body. McNeese fires a straight right to the chin, and Young takes a wicked left hand to the body. A jab on the nose by Billy McNeese. Patty moves out to the center of the ring now, faints the left hand, faints it again, ducks under a right, puts a light hook to the chin, and is pounded back by two jabs on the chin. Another jab to the nose by the left hand of Billy McNeese. Two more in there, and then Young goes to jabbing. Two on the chin, and then a left hook on the mouth. Young faints the left hand, puts the right hand to the body, makes McNeese get wild with the left that's short. And Young puts another right hand to the body. Another right to the body by Young. And McNeese brings up that left hand to the chin again. A minute to go in round two. Young trying to slow his man down. Pounds the body with the left hand and then two jabs on the chin. But he's wild with the right. A hard left hook to the jaw by Patty Young. Who's starting to hurt his man. He pounds the right to the chin. Another left hand to the head by Young. A jab on the nose. And McNeese is getting wilder and slowing up a little bit. Young takes a right to the chin. Puts a hard left hook to the jaw. Little by little, he seems to be cutting down Billy, Billy McNeese, but we could be wrong in that. McNeese pounds a hard left to the body, puts a jab on the chin. Young faints the left hand, gets away from a long right at his head and takes a double hook, once to the body, once to the jaw. By the left hand, another right to the chin by McNeese, and he forces Young back into the rope. Young puts that right up a cut to the jaw. McNeese pounds both hands to the head, and he's got Young on the rope on the far side, and Patty has to hold on. The first real clinch of the fight so far. And there's a good official, Al Burrow, getting them apart. McNeese is cut around the right eye slightly. He puts a right to the chin. There's a right to the jaw by Patty Young. And McNeese brings back a jab on the nose. Young faints the left hand, backs away, brings up a short right of a cut on the mouth. The bell and Win Elliott. Okay, Don. Remember we said this. We didn't expect this to be fancy, but sure a fight. And it certainly is that. These men are out there slugging with everything they have. Now, you take Patty Young, the guy who has a left hook to seemingly, he can blast you right up into the second balcony here. He's been beaten, sure, in fights that we've seen him, but we've never seen anybody try to slug with him because well, that would seem to be more than tempting fate. His opponent tonight, young Billy McNeese of Central Islip, New York, is trying to do just that, and that would indicate that this fight isn't going to last 10 rounds. It just isn't the courage for it to last, and I'll say this. Uh, in the fights that we've seen, uh, uh, Patty Young, uh, he, he's taken the best in the division and has never has seemed to uh, uh, set him back on his heels. And uh, whether McNeese has more dynamite than you might expect right at this moment, who can tell? But these boys are slugging it out, and I, for one, would never stand there in the center of the ring and slug with Patty Young. 